Hi, this is Susan Sanford again from Vineyard Complementary Medicine to review proper body mechanics on how to go, how to sit, how to go from sitting to standing, and how to bend and lift if you have low back pain. First, let's talk about your box. I know a lot of people have heard you talk about your, my box and your box. My interpretation of what your box is, is this area between your rib cage, lower part of your rib cage, and your pelvic bones right here. So I want you to connect the dots. One, two, three, four, right? We connect the dots and you have your box. In order to protect your spine, even preventatively, or if you're having issues with low back pain, you wanna make sure that you keep that inward curve, this is called the lordosis, that inward curve of your back at all times. That helps you to keep your jelly in your donut, like we talked about earlier, or to keep the disc fluid in the center of your disc space, okay? So keep the arch in your back. It's like, kind of like closing those holes back there. And in order to maintain it, there's so many rules. Use your knees, do this, do that. Keep your box open and square, you'll protect your spine. So let, let me teach you how to sit. So when you sit down, you wanna make sure that your box is open and square, okay? You're gonna hinge at the hips and you're gonna sit. Now watch the difference, okay, by going like this. We do it all the time, all right? Not good. Keep your box open and square. So you sit, when you have to sit for any length of time, driving, working, whatever it is that you do, you wanna do what I call the wiggle back. So you take your buttocks and you wiggle them all the way back into where the seat meets the back of the chair, the wiggle back. Then you fill in that space, that lordosis with, we have our McKenzie lumbar rolls here that we have for sale, they're 20 bucks. Or you can just take, traveling in the car, I've used a sweatshirt. I have been known to use a water bottle, not very comfortable. Um, or you can take a beach towel, roll it up nicely, use, it, use some duct tape for a little home, you know, home, I don't know, innovation. So do the wiggle back, fill in the space. Your box is square. If you're having episodes with acute low back pain or intermittent low back pain, Avoid sitting for more than 10 to 15 minutes at a time. If you sit, look at me, I'm still in a forward bent position. So if you've got some disc issues, your back's not going to like for being in this position for more than 10 to 15 minutes. So interrupt it. If it's not feasible, if you're in the car, you're traveling, you can't get up, um, what you want to do is you want to move. So kind of keep that, you want to pump that jelly in the center of the jelly donut or that disc in the center of the disc space like we talked about in the earlier videos. So you need to move, okay, if you can't stand up. Otherwise, when you're ready to stand up, you go to the edge of the seat, check your box, make sure it's open and square, hinge forward at the hips, and then stand up, okay? It's going to feel like you're exaggerating putting your hips back and your buttocks back but look at, I'm keeping my box square. Practice that a few times, okay? This is a progression of how you go and bend and lift, okay? Bend and lift objects, bend and lift children. Keep your box open and square, right? Same motion, just go get your person or your object, pull it in close, activate your six Bs, which is your bottom, your belly, your box, your shoulder blade, your bobblehead, breathe. You can learn more about this in our other YouTube video called Six Bs for Safe Movement and Body Mechanics. Okay, keep everything nice and stable, and then you can put it down. Notice my box. If you have any questions, please give us a call here at the clinic, 508-693-3800, or go to our website, vcmpt.com. That's V as in Vineyard Complementary Medicine, PT.com. Thank you.